to share in just a minute. Susan, please. Hi, my name is Susan Silver, and I was part of the poverty and recession group. So we talked about, first of all, creating a regional resilience fund, especially taxing polluters, um, and reaching also out to local banks to educate them to invest in our local communities. We also talked about t um, really promoting and elevating the idea of time banks and sort of an alternative economy and promoting the sharing economy, swapping and bartering. And then we also talked about teach-ins and um, impact investment, building equity and, and convening those who are um, interested in building and talking about equity and making sure that those who are the most in, impacted by the recession and poverty have a seat in these conversations. All right, somebody's being shy out there. This is not a place to be shy. Come on. There we go. Thanks, Gino. Why don't you share? So this is very similar to the last one, but we're dealing with the cuts to social services. And two strategies we came up with was one was kind of developing um, community systems. So kind of the cooperative model, creating local access to services through neighbor to neighbor sharing of not knowledge, skills, and services. And this would be organized by whatever is relevant in the local community. Um, so we talked about how some communities that would be like through email possibly, others not through internet. Um, developing local currencies and doing some participa participatory collaborative research um, and forming other forms of kind of collaborative economics within communities. And then on a larger scale, we call it a tax reform or slash revolution. Um, increasing corporate taxes, removing tax breaks and loopholes, increase taxes on the wealthiest 1%. All right. um, and the way that we thought we would get that done is like through mass organizing and building the power base to actually pass some of these reforms. And um, once that's done, using best practices to make uh, services more efficient and run more effectively so everyone gets quality service. All right, thanks, Gino. Do we have anybody else in the house? I think we were missing at least one group there, weren't we? Hmm. No? Okay, he didn't get one. So I'm gonna actually turn things over to Kirsten here to close this out and uh, let us know what's on tap for happy hour and so forth. Thank you. What's on tap for happy hour is exactly the purpose of why I'm up here. <laughs> well said, Aaron. So I want you to give your all yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> what a way to spend 11, 11 to 11, is coming together with other members of your community, getting together, meeting people you didn't know, expanding how we see and how we think about these issues, and thinking about how we can move ahead together. And again, I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, we will be, uh, uh, the fearless Colin Miller over here will be writing up notes and, uh, and uh, yeah, that's right, cheer him on, it's a big job. <laughs> and putting out a report back on this uh, um, uh, convening uh, within a few weeks. And so please don't look for that. We will send it to people who we uh, who have emails for who, who can, and also putting it on our website so you'll be able to get that. Um, uh, so yes, uh, we are having a happy hour at our Simona, which is one long block of back on 11th toward Clay. You basically, if you walk out the the street, uh, the way, walk out the door and walk away from Broadway and back toward the parking garage and just keep going to hit the, the corner, our Simona is a bar on the second floor. The entrance is on Clay. You go up in the elevator and uh, 
I encourage you to continue your, your conversations over there because we actually do need to clean up and, and be out of here um, completely by four um, to respect our hosts. So please do continue your conversations at the happy hour. It'll be a wonderful space. And we have a special treat uh, that I believe at four o'clock, uh, there'll be a special live performance of Pachamama's Pajamas at the bar. So you'll wanna be there. Again, thank you so much for coming and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.